Is it rolling? Yeah. Stop. Okay. Look at this. Look at all of this. All of this is because of one thing that we did. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to talk about. This is a Bali mansion. It is what it is. It's a Bali mansion. Get over it if you, if you don't like that. <laughs> yeah. We live in a Bali mansion. Get over it. Sorry. But it's all paid for and it's all because of publishing. And we want to talk about why, like give you the reasons and truly break it down and explain to you why publishing is better than dropshipping, better than FBA, all these other ones that you always hear about. Mm -hmm. Better than this, better than that, and why it really is the best way to get started if you want to live somewhere like this and do shit like that. Can we just spread if a little bit of do awareness that. about how incredible publishing is as an online yeah. business? Like, we really want to articulate no, it like, and like, give you the reasons. Like, like, let's get a little emotion here. Like, it changed our fucking life. Straight up. Know? Straight but, up. Zero to Bali Mansion in 20 months. That's our publishing story. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so, okay. Let's fucking talk about it. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait, come on. Here, sit up over here. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, shit. Yeah. Alright, All right, let's actually get into why the fuck publishing, man, I'm telling you, publishing is the best. No one just knows it, but let's explain yeah. exactly why. Just because, know? like, not everyone in the world is, or everyone on the internet is doing publishing, does not mean, like, oh, no, that's not the best one. Mm -hmm. If anything, that helps us, because there's not many people doing it. No one's fucking doing audiobooks, which makes, why it makes it so fucking stupid easy yeah. to make shitloads of money. Let's just get straight into the first point. Like, we just have a few points that we thought of, the main ones. There's one that separates it from all the others. There's one that's like 90% of it. Yeah. What would you say? Uh, no, but yeah. You know sure. what I mean. I know what you mean, right? Yes. It's, it's, so literally, it's literally the most passive business you will ever find in the world. We, we talk about We're, this. Because it, it gets to a point where it can't get more passive. Mm -hmm. You can fucking sleep for a whole year. Well, so well, we, we were talking use, to we our... Use, you as an example. Well, we, we were talking to our friend about, like, Publishing is the most passive thing, right? right. Like, we're not we're, we're not just biased, right? Yeah. Like and he's like he's like yeah, there's that and there's real estate. That's the two uh -huh. that were are literally like 100, 100, 100 percent passive. Yeah. So so let's use you as an example, mm -hmm. right? The last time you published a book, an audio book on my personal account was Mar Let's just be conservative and say April. Right. It was in April. And I've do this, done this in a few videos. I'm just going to run through. I, I'm going to put the whole number on the screen. If you want to see like actual screenshots, I'll prove it. I don't really give a fuck. But this is going to be the month by month from 2018. Okay? 2018. And then April hadn't touched it since. Mm -hmm. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Okay? Since... April, that's been completely fucking passive. Haven't touched it. Haven't done shit with it. Right, you built and that, the that money, the, the the dollars that you saw on the screen there, that's what's paying for this place. Like, oh, that's the profit. Okay, that's the fucking profit. Because nothing goes into it. I don't do shit. I just get the direct deposit at the end of the month. Like, that's what I live off of. Well, look, I, I don't live off of the YouTube money, the course money. I live off of that. And you can sit there and think like, okay, passive income, cool, but why passive income? Why passive income? Because the point is not to just fucking make money no, and work all the time. No, that's not the point, right? The point is be able to have the money and be able to do what the fuck you want at the same time. So you could have online businesses. You could run a dropshipping store. Speaking from experience, you ran a dropshipping store. And it was you the didn't most... Make a, you didn't make a lot of money, but even if you had, like, you yeah, even no if you, Even if I was making $50,000 a month in profit from that dropshipping store. Dude, I was fucking... Answering emails all the time, talking on the phone all the time, doing random shit, mm -hmm. right? It felt, I mean, it felt like I was working a nine to five job. Mm -hmm. That's what it felt, but I was doing it from home, which fucking, okay, that's yeah. sick. I was working all the fucking time and it was so not passive. For an online business that gets like yeah. promoted as a passive way to make money online. You can do these other online businesses. You could be a freelancer. Like you're a freelancer, yes, it's better than having a job, but you still don't have freedom to do what you want. You need to work to get the money and you need money to live, so like you have to work or else you go broke. But um, look, yeah, the money is not the important thing to me. Mm -hmm. It's the freedom that you have with that money. Yeah. So because of that, we're able to fucking travel uh, like wherever we want, so whenever we want. To, it's November 2018. We've been to 10 countries this year because of fucking this shit. Uh, fucking, we've been all over the place. Hawaii, Thailand, and Bali right now. Italy, Mexico, Mexico, Egypt. 
Egypt, fucking all of these dope ass places. Anyway, that's just the first point, the passiveness, it's like none other. If you disagree, if you think there's something that's as passive as publishing, put it in the comments down below, mm. and I bet we'll get zero comments of people saying, here's something just as passive, if not more passive. I wanna talk about this, if you agree, there's the let real it, like, estate thing. If you agree or disagree, especially if you disagree, let us know. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to, if there's something better, fuck. Let me fucking do that. Yeah, then. exactly. There's right? a, we're doing this because this is the fucking best thing that we know of. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, there's the real estate, but who, do you have a hundred grand to put down on a fucking home? The second point is that anyone can get started. Anyone. If you have internet, you can get anyone. started. That's all you need. So it's best if you have money to invest in writers and cover designers, right? But you don't need it. The very first book that I ever published was something I wrote myself. Same, same. Let me put it, I want to put it on the screen. I've never shared it before. I had to be a 4.0 GPA student in college because I actually was that. We both were because mm -hmm. we worked hard, not because we're special. We're not special. We're not different from you. We're not any different. We just fucking took action. Yeah. <laughs> like no, no shit. We took action and actually like believed in the process mm -hmm. and kept on going even when shit got hard. And here's my first book ever. Wrote it myself. What a CrossFit. CrossFit book. 50 yeah. top 50 best CrossFit workouts. Yeah. It made me $850 in the first month. I'll be honest, I fucking hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah, that one well. That made, made a lot of money. Uh, so another video we're going to make is like how to make your first dollar online or how to make your first dollar publishing. How to properly like actually get started because some people need that. The first dollar is the hardest. Mm -hmm. And then you hear all of the excuses. But we're going to make a video explaining why you don't have any excuses. And if the you biggest of the money, like you don't need any money. Or you, you're gonna write it yourself. Mm -hmm. Find something that you like to write about and just write like a 5,000 word book yourself. Get a five bucks to make a cover made, mm -hmm. uh, put it up and you'll make your first dollar and that'll prove to you like, oh shit, maybe there is something to what they're saying about this shit. We have our friend Suraj, broke Indian, turned Indian prince. Mm -hmm. He was making $150 a month at his job. In India, he lives in, in India. India. He literally saved up two months of salary to get his first book written. Mm -hmm. I'll say the chances are that you are living in a place where you can make much more than $150 a month. You have it easier than than him, for sure. Mm -hmm. And now he's doing over $10,000 a month. He's rich as fuck in India, mm -hmm. rich as fuck. I mean, he's making as much as- like, like, I thought he was a terrorist. He's that rich now in India. I mean, he's, he's making as make much as like more. the corporate massive- Look, look I just multi <laughs> Look, it's blood. Ew, it's bloody. Ew, that's gross. I just got it. I you wipe it off? Can you wipe it off? But he's making as much as like the high level CEOs in India, yeah. ten thousand dollars a yeah. month. So he's a fucking he did this in one year. It's real. All this is. Can you hear the sound? This is real. This is real. <sighs> anyway, let's move on. Yeah. I get very passionate about this stuff because man, I hate seeing people that are skeptical, and because of you're skeptical, it leads to not taking action on something, mm -hmm. and it's so fucking sad. Mm -hmm. All you need is like a lot of testosterone okay. and that's it. That'll help, yeah. but I mean, you don't need it. But my point is like, you, testosterone, you're a guy, like, oh, let's do this. Yeah. You just need willingness. Mm -hmm. Willingness. Willingness. Yeah. That's a pretty good word. So that's two points so far. There are there's some, a few more points that separate publishing from all the other online businesses. Like why specifically publishing is such a, an easy way to actually make the money. Yes, it's passive. I guess anyone can do it, but it's like actually successful mm -hmm. and work. Like one of the reasons why it works is because of Amazon. If you've uh, if you, you've ever had an e-com store and you've tried like getting traffic, it's and really, really hard. Ads, it's really it's hard. hard and it's expensive. Yeah. When I had my dropshipping store, all I was doing I was just like chasing myself to make back the money I was spending on ads by running ads. Yeah. But when you have a business on Amazon, it's completely different. Amazon has the most traffic on planet earth of any website and you get to have access to their traffic for free mm -hmm. all of it their entire platform all their customers all their traffic for free mm -hmm. you could put something up you just put it up and you put it up you publish it. it and you make sales because there's people seeing it if you just, if the cover looks good the title looks good people will buy it and then you also have the option to run Amazon ads if you want. And that takes you to a whole other level. Yeah, that's that takes you to a whole other level. You don't need to pay a single cent in advertising to make you, money. You just you just put it up, and people are there. People will see it because Amazon has that power. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was point number three. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to point number four. Oh, this is a big one. 
business style ones that people don't realize. Yeah. Like you only know once you've been in the game, mm -hmm. made in different businesses, mm -hmm. and it's the fact that you don't have to deal with customers. Oh my god. You don't deal with customers. And wow, there's not many businesses like that. Well, that's because the you're selling shit to people, and people are gonna reply, like email you, like with the course. Mm -hmm. You would think, oh, uh, you don't have, actually, you'd, no, you would not think you don't have to hear from people after they're giving you a thousand dollars. But they email you refunds, this and that. I mean, that's the biggest lesson I learned with uh, drop shipping. Mm -hmm. I literally decided after I went through the whole experience, like, I do not want to have another business where I have to deal with people. Mm -hmm. Now that's not possible because if I want to make a lot of money, mm -hmm. we'll eventually have to. Yeah, but. For a dropshipping store, <laughs> oh my god, it's the biggest pain in the ass. Alright, but again, that's leveraging Amazon because Amazon takes care of customer service for you. Mm -hmm. It's fucking next level shit, guys. Mm -hmm. It just com it just has every component of what you want. Mm -hmm. Is there more to talk about? Not really. Dude, dude. What? You have blue shit all over your nose now. I can't see it, but okay. Keep it rolling. Yeah. Alright, is that- um, are those the points? You know what I mean, yeah, I don't want to fucking overcomplicate it. It's no, the most no. passive shit in the world. That we could bring and anyone can get started, and you don't need any skills. You don't need to be a writer, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, did we talk about that one? That anyone can do it? <laughs> Not really. That's one. Of the that's that'll be the final point. Yeah. Anyone can do it right now. You can start right after this video is over. We're gonna make another video dedicated to this. Just write on top. Write a top. Write a book about a topic you're passionate about. If you're passionate about basketball, write like a basketball training or basketball dribbling guide. Mm -hmm. You put it up with a nice cover, have it up there for a week, you will make a sale and make your first dollar. I really wish I could tell more about Sue Ridge's business, but I can't because a whole, we got a whole video on it. Yeah, but the specifics. Then you'll kind of understand that you can honestly make a publishing business and brand around anything. Well, he made just super random thing, made books about it, makes a fuck little money. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Let's wrap this video up. So dudes, dudes, dudes. Yeah. Magic emoji of the day is an eight ball. Is there, is there an emoji for that? I feel like we didn't wrap it up, we didn't wrap it up. No, we told everything. This is why publishing is the greatest. Okay. And if you, if you disagree, uh, I wanna, if you, if you disagree, I wanna talk about it. Yeah. You know, if there's something better, oh, I really wanna talk about it. I wanna get into that. I really but. hope we get comments of people saying why no, publishing is not the best and mm -hmm. this is even better. Uh -huh. uh, and then yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, if you're want, if, if you're watching this, you, now you want to get into it. Uh, we got a free mini course about it. Just get started on that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play anything else besides that. Right. Let's. Uh, you can also make a shitload of money. Like that's another thing. It's not. This is not pennies. Uh -huh. People making dumb money. Uh huh. Seriously. And you call yourself a published author. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's that as well. There's that as well. I'm actually an Amazon best-selling author from my CrossFit book that I showed you. Technically, you are. I technically I am. Right. Well, technically, I just I just am. Uh -huh. I'm a best-selling Amazon author. Uh -huh. All right, okay. let's let's show the place. Like this is all because of publishing. Show Ole. 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 Ole is a publisher as well. Hello, Ole. <laughs> hey, you're famous now. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's wrap the video up. See you in the next video. Drop those emojis.